how is it going everybody Mr Android here and this is my Samsung Galaxy S22 whenever i get a Samsung phone i always need to install a third party launcher just to customize and change the entire look of my phone but with One UI 4.1 Samsung has added a lot of cool features and now this setup that you see on my home screen has been created without installing any launcher guys i was able to customize and get this amazing look on my device just by using the default Samsung launcher for that being said If you really want to customize and change the entire way how your Galaxy device look then stay tuned and watch this video till the very end also let's aim for 1500 likes on this one so drop a like leave a comment and let's get started all right guys first things first let's talk about the wallpaper the wallpaper that you see on my home screen is from an app called minimal walls and links to all the applications that i will be mentioning in this video will be listed down in the description below Well it's a free application where you can find a great collection of minimal high quality wallpapers for your android device. So if you love wallpapers like this then just go ahead and install this application. Moving on let's talk about these beautiful icons. The icon pack that I'm currently using for my setup is called Viral Icon Pack. All you need to do is just head over to the Play Store and download this pack. It is absolutely free. Now in order to apply this icon pack You will need the Goodlock application which I'm sure a lot of you must have already installed on your Galaxy device. But in case if you haven't already, then just head over to the Galaxy store and search Goodlock. It is made by Samsung specially for Samsung devices. So just go ahead and install this application. Once done, simply open Goodlock. Here you will see a lot of different modules, but you will need only two modules that will help you to customize your home screen. First one is called Theme Park and then you also need to install Home Up module. Once done, simply open Theme Park. Select icon. Tap on Create New and just select this option that says Icon Pack. Here you can see all the icon packs which you have installed from the Play Store. All you have to do is select the icon pack you want to apply. I will select Viral Icon Pack and then tap on Save. You can also give a name and then click on OK. It will take some time to save the theme which you have just created. Finally click on apply and that's it. This changes the entire look of your app icons and you have got this beautiful icons that looks really really good. Now as you can see on my home screen I was able to reduce the size of my app icons. To do this again you need to open the Goodlock application and install the Home Up module. Simply go inside Home Up, select Home screen and change the home screen grid size to 7 by 7. If you want you can also change the app drawer grid but I usually keep it at 4 by 6. Since we are in Home Up, let me show you another cool feature. If I open my Recent Apps menu, you see how it looks different. To change the look of your Recent Apps menu, just select Task Changer, and from here you can choose a variety of different style. I use the Stack Layout, which I think looks really nice. Finally, we have this Date and Month widget that I have set up on my home screen. This widget is from a pack called Desaturate KWGT. Even though it is totally free. but you will need to install the KWGT Pro version in order to apply any widgets on your home screen so just download the custom widget along with the pro key from the links which i have provided in the description below once you are done simply press and hold on your home screen select widgets and then click on KWGT here you can see all the presets you have downloaded from the play store simply select desaturate KWGT and the widget that i am currently using is the widget number D5 If you want you can also resize the widget as per your requirement. So that's pretty much it. This is how you can easily customize your home screen without the need of any third party launcher. You can customize everything just by using the default Samsung launcher. So that's it for this video. If you guys liked this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr Android and I will see you guys in the next one.